task dependencies and it will want to decide when a task can be started. Actually, a task can be associated with one or several predecessors, which must be completed before it can be started. Furthermore, lag time can be set between predecessors and successors in order to accommodate for required delays. The finish to start dependency type empowers you to create such a relationship between tasks. As an example, if you need to paint a wall, you need to apply the primer layer first, let it dry for several hours, and after that you'll be all set to apply the first paint layer. In this situation, Applying the primer layer is the predecessor, the drying represents the lag time, and applying the paint layer represents the successor. A dependency can be mandatory or not. This enables users to begin a successor even if its predecessors are not completed. Finally, tasks with dependencies are clearly identified with an icon in reports, calendars, and GAN charts. By clicking this icon, you can view the dependency details, that is, predecessors, successors, and lag time. When viewing a GAN chart, task dependencies are clearly identified with an icon next to the task summary, as in other task lists. Furthermore, a dotted line links the dependent tasks progress bars.